Hello. In this video, we will be looking at specific settings when working with the Epson F2000 supported in Digital Factory. It's assumed you have already watched the rest of the Digital Factory apparel videos and are familiar with layers, costing, and these sorts of features. There are two drivers available for the Epson F2000, the F2000 Series Driver and the F2000 Direct. During the installation and setup, you will have selected to install one of these, but to get the most from the Epson F2000, you will want to have both of these installed. To add the second driver, go to Devices, Manage Devices, in the File menu. This will show you a list of printer drivers already installed. Click on the plus sign with the printer icon to add a new printer. Select the drive you haven't already installed and select OK. Select Search Online to ensure you get the latest version of the driver and the printer will be installed along with additional cues. Click Next and then Finish and the driver will be added. The direct driver is used in all the fast queues and the series driver is used in all the other queues. As there are two drivers, you need to configure the queues for both drivers for the correct output port. Go to Queue, Manage Queue and select the output port for one of the new queues installed with the second driver. Select Yes to change all the queues for this driver and everything will be set up and ready to go. The series driver provides the same printer resolution options as Epson's own Garment Creator software. When using the series driver, the print speeds are the same as Garment Creator and both use the microweaving features built into the printer. The direct driver offers faster print modes Printing the color pass, it can typically be almost twice as fast. A 10 by 10 area can print in 45 seconds as opposed to 1 minute 15 for a white shirt. Hence, all of these cues are labeled fast. You don't need to worry about which driver gets used. That is taken care of by the queue. You just need to install the second print driver as an extra step in the setup process. The Epson F2000 is configured with eight channels one each for CMYK and four white channels. An important note on the F2000 is that the Epson firmware only allows either the color or the white to be printed in a pass. And this means that when printing with an underbase, you will always need two passes, which means two layers in Digital Factory. It also means that you can't print a highlight white when printing the color pass. Even if you enable the white channel and set up a highlight white, while you would be able to see this highlight white data in view raw data, the Epson will refuse to print it. So, whenever working with the layers in the F2000, don't try and print white and color in the same layer, as you will just be disappointed. What determines if a layer prints white or color is the print mode being used. If you go to Devices, Manage Print Modes, you can select and edit any of the print modes. And in the Printer Options tab, it displays the resolution and if it's a resolution for white data printing or for CMYK data printing. If you want to increase the amount of white used for the underbase, select the queue you want to adjust and click on the Layers button in the Smart Bar area. You have a couple of options to do this. You could use the Repeats feature. This would simply print the underbase layer twice. Or you could use a higher resolution. Click on the three dots and simply select a higher resolution underbase print mode. This is normally better than doing two passes as it will be slightly faster and less likely to introduce registration issues. By going to a 2880 by 1440 resolution for the underbase, we will have doubled the amount of white ink. 
This is more than likely going to be too much ink now and will quite likely cause bleeding when mixed with the colours. You can simply reduce the amount of white by going to the bitmap processing options and reducing the maximum ink percentage on the underbase. In this case we'll take it down to 70%. If you want to print a highlight white you would need to do this using an extra pass. To do this go to layers and add a new layer which we will call highlight. Make sure the white channel is enabled and the CMYK channels are disabled. Then in the pro bitmap processing options select a white highlight and the strength of the white highlight you want. I always use nine weak so as not to put too much white down in the light coloured areas. Also make sure you have a white ink print mode selected as if a colour print mode is used the printer will not print anything. You could use a 1440 underbase print mode for a strong highlight or a faster lighter highlight at 1440 by 720. Layers give you incredible flexibility in your print options and I want to show you one last configuration you could use that will give you a stronger underbase but with better performance. Doing two 1440 passes for an underbase will take twice as long and now you're reducing the max ink on the white because it's too much. So in this example we'll create a second underbase but print this at 1440 by 720 which will be twice as quick as a 1440 by 1440 pass. This way we increase the density of the white for the underbase in a more speed efficient manner. Due to the way the direct and series drivers work, the underbase print mode resolutions are slightly different. In the series driver you will see we have 1440 by 720, 1440 by 1440 and 2880 by 1440. While in the direct driver we have 720 by 720, 1440 by 720 and 1440 by 1440. These are actually the same in terms of print speed and volume of ink. 720 by 720 on a direct driver is the same as 1440 by 720 on the series driver. The reason they are different resolutions is that the direct driver we send data to each of the four white heads separately and these are all 360 dpi print heads but when we're using the series driver we're actually running the white heads as two 720 dpi print heads. You don't need to worry about this, just remember that they are the same. 2880 by 1440 on the series is 1440 by 1440 on the direct. If you use the costing feature with the Epson series driver, then you will need to set the white ink passes to two. Only one channel of white is actually sent to the Epson printer when using the series driver. It then duplicates internally the white data for the second print head. To take this into account for the costing, you need to specify why ink passes as two. This isn't required for the direct driver, as it sends the data directly to the white print heads. The costing data will show you the correct cost for your white ink, but will only show you the volume used for the single white. If you wanted to work out the actual amount of white ink used for a series driver, in this example, you'd need to multiply the value 0.000749 by two.